Hello and welcome back to the kitchen room. I know it's been several years since I've been filming in the kitchen for you longtime viewers, and it's also been even longer since I've done anything cooking related. Well, the reason for this is I got wrapped up in the $2 pizza saga that Asmongold was doing, and then a gentleman named Birger Foods responded to it, and in that video, he made his own fresh pizza dough that gave a step-by-step -step instruction of how to do it. And for you guys who know, I love me some pizza, and I've actually been rolling out and making my own pizzas for quite a while now. So generally I buy store-bought uh, dough, so the Trader Joe's or the Safeway one. So here we are, I wanted to try giving it a shot myself. Now in his video, he made a Detroit style pizza. It's almost a pseudo deep dish, but not quite that way in a cast iron pan. Now I do have a cast iron, but that is not my preferred way of doing it as well as I do love me some of the Hormel pepperoni, but the one that I like even more is the Hormel Cup and Crisp. So this is the mini pepperoni that really crisps up. So I'm gonna be using this, as well as I'm gonna roll out a couple of ones that have some olives on it. And yes, I am a dirty Californian who likes to have his pizza with some pineapple. Now, hear me out. You don't just have pizza with just pineapple. And part of the problem I think people have with pineapple on pizza is that if you put a lot of toppings on it, the moisture in the pineapple is gonna keep the pizza from getting crisp. Now I'm someone who doesn't care for a lot of cheese. I know some of you checked out. I used to get light cheese my whole life. Sometimes there was times when I just got no cheese, which I don't recommend, but I really like a crisp pepperoni. So part of what I do is I try to squeeze out some of the moisture from the pineapple, but Give it a shot sometime. Pepperoni and pineapple pairs up really well. But hey, once again, I'm from California. Growing up, you had cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, and Hawaiian. And then naturally, I left the pepperoni. There'd be some pineapples that fell off the Hawaiian. I tried it, loved it. And that's kind of how I got a hankering for it. But anyways, let's make this pizza. Let's test it out and let's see how it turns out. So as far as ingredients go, it's pretty simple here. We have all-purpose flour, a little bit of sugar. We have a a starter yeast, which I've never bought yeast before. I got one that said it was for Pizza Crush. The one I used in the video was more just an all-purpose. I don't think it really matters. Extra virgin olive oil, some sea salt, and of course the toppings we're gonna put on. You mix it all up, so you make a well in it. You pour the olive oil and then add warm water. Mix it with a the spatula, then smack it up, get all that gamer rage out. Now for the sauce, I like using the Safeway sauce. In the past, I used to season all of my pizzas with oregano and things like that. It's funny, I, I would do the $2 pizza technique all the time, adding additional pepperoni, putting the seasoning on it. So let's go ahead and mix all this up. I really should have brought a tripod down here, but it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good, check a look. I managed to get to this point. You know, it was a little dicey at times. I didn't quite see it coming out like dough, but there we go. We got ourselves some dough. Through the magic of editing, let's uh, get to the next portion here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this out into four different pizza crusts. That's typically what I do. All right, so I have all four of the doughs rolled out. I am letting it sit for 15 minutes now, just like they suggested in the video, before I start putting the toppings on. I've added a little bit of layer of the extra virgin olive oil on the bottom, just in case. I know it's not on the cast iron like he does for the, the Detroit style, but just wanna make sure. And I gotta say, rolling out the dough was very pliable. I could probably make these even thinner because I love thin crust pizza and probably could have uh, taken up more surface area, but just for this, I wanted to do it in a similar style to what I typically do. All right, it's been 15 minutes. We have the sauce added on. Once again, apologies if you like more cheese. And here we are, everything's ready to go. Now, typically when I do this, I will cook the pizzas for about 25 minutes. At 475, I do 10 minutes. I flip it around. Don't know if that does anything, but just in case the oven has hot spots, around 10 minute mark, let it cook for another 10 minutes. And then I kind of eyeball it based on how it's looking as far as the, the kind of the caramelization, the cookedness, for about another five or so minutes. But with this, we're gonna do it just as he said, keep it at 450. And I'll probably just keep an eyeball on it and wait until it looks crispy enough. I ended up cooking this about exactly how I cook my normal pizzas, and we'll see in there. One of the things I really love about the pepperonis is you'll see it start orangifying the crust, and that'll actually help it crisp up more in my opinion. You'll see the pineapples have still managed to keep the pizza getting crispy. So that is what the secret to having 
good pineapple pizza in my opinion is even right here this is great this is actually even more crispy than what it gets on the normal doughs i use all right i'm pretty damn excited so just to let you know as far as timing was for this i started making these around 5 p.m and now it is around 6 30. so it did take about an hour and a half from creation to inception. Part of that is because I did do the extra steps of cutting up the additional toppings and of course rolling it out, but still not that much more time than what it, I typically do it anyways with the pre-made dough. And it didn't get nearly as messy with the dough as it does when I buy the, the store-bought ones. Those ones are super sticky. This one still kept together, but didn't get everywhere. It didn't require me to flour it all the time in order to keep it from sticking to everything. So it crisped up good. A new tip I found out from watching him is you want to start from the inside, but wow, look at this, delicious. But even then, I just messed up what he said. Bottoms up. That's a pretty good crust there, my friend. That's not bad at all. Wow. Ooh. And the oils, the pepperoni oils actually leaking through the dough and making quite a, quite a nice experience. Cheers, my friend, thank you. All right, for all you people who hate pineapple, I'm telling you, you do it this way, it's going to be delicious. Oh yeah, that's a good tasty pie. If you're wondering why the quality got better, it's because my wife is down here. She's holding the light. Cheers.